It's so amazing to have somebody so tall. Um, I try. I do my best. So, how, how epic was it working on Rambo? I don't think it happened. You don't think it happened? I don't think it actually happened. I think I dreamt it. It was too amazing to be true. Like, it was... When I first heard about it, they're like, yeah, you might get to be a gorilla with Weta, and your one of your best friends is the visual effects supervisor, Colin Strauss, and uh, you'll be Dwayne Johnson's best friend. You'll be his Chewbacca, he'll be your Han Solo, and you guys give each other crap, and then you go save the world. You're like, How about it? Right? And it's based on a video game you played when you were a kid, Rampage. I remember playing it on 64 with my friend on Christmas, and then renting it from Blockbuster later when that was a thing. So it was, it was insane. It was an absolute dream come true. And I came away with such a changed perspective on life and on animals, on gorillas. Like, I just, I fell in love. I thought I was a dog person, a gorilla person. I fell in love with apes and just, it really changed, it changed my perspective on so many things and I learned so much. It was a year of prep and shooting for me that was just, it was life changing. Was that the main prep that you learned so much about gorillas? Was that one of the biggest preparations that you did? Def definitely. So far, um, I have plans for some for some other potential projects in the future where I'm going to take it even further, like Daniel Day Lewis far. But because um, I'm a nerd, I think that's fun. It's really fun to dive into the character like that. But yeah, this was six months of prep before I ever got a call, because my friend let me know you're going to get a call in a week or two. Six months later, I'm really really ready because I've been studying every week, going to the zoo, and watching documentaries. Then I train with Terry Notary, who is King Kong. We spent several weeks in the Santa Monica Mountains, just like this, just going up on all fours, getting incredibly sore and sweaty, and meditating and looking out of my eyes as a gorilla, not as and like learning to like feel with my back and hear as a gorilla and engage my senses as a gorilla and just be. It, it changed my life. And then we get to go film the movie with Dwayne Johnson, with Naomi Harris, with Brad Payton, with Weta, with the entire cast. Like I can't even begin to. I love all of them so much. They're like family. What an amazing. It was incredible. I mean, the experience itself sounds like some kind of new age uh, like workshop that everybody wants to get into. Yes, and Terry actually really wants to do that. It's something called Quadrufit. He's going to be releasing this design of the arm extensions for people to buy. And I can't wait to get a pair. And it's going to be more than just physical fitness. It's going to be about meditation and about stripping away this, the things that we've learned to be human and nodding and eye contact and smiling and just being comfortable being. And turning off the brain and just engaging in the senses and just, just being here. And how therapeutic that is and how necessary it is. Because we're always thinking, thinking, thinking. We're cut off at the head. But to engage the rest of the body and just let that mind have a rest, sit in a hammock, as he says. It's so therapeutic just to be. And I'm a nerd for it. I'm such a nerd for it. I love it. And the work showed up in the Thank you. I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud. What's next for you? Like, um, what else is eventually, at some point, some more Ryuk, some more Death Note, I, from what I hear, from what I've read, which I love. I can't wait to get back in that sweaty, tight leather. <laughs> uh, Godzilla, King of the Mons. Yes. Yeah, well, I love, I don't know, you put on the character. When you look in the mirror and you see all those spikes and everything, you really, and people are actually like, don't touch me. It helps. Godzilla, King of the Monsters comes out next year. I help bring Ghidorah to life for that, which is just Amazing! It's the first time Ghidorah will be in an American-made Godzilla film, and I get to help bring. Are you, he's that's Godzilla's all-time arch enemy. Yeah. I don't feel like that happened either, um, <laughs> and that's so far away. And there are a couple other things I can't talk about that we're in talks for that I'm very excited about. Hopefully, be able to talk about soon if they go down. So fingers crossed on them going down. Uh, all the fingers are crossed. You did a great job, and I can't wait for these other projects. That includes Godzilla and King Kong. Yes. <laughs> Maybe Godzilla versus Kong. Adam Wingard, same director as Death Note. We'll see. If there's something in that, if he approaches me, I don't care what it is. I don't care if he's like, do you want to motion capture a table in the background? Sure. If I can be, absolutely. Absolutely. That'll be a credit. Table. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's so great talking with you. Yeah, of course.